good afternoon. I'm Everett Hornsby, as you well know. And this afternoon we're going to be talking about what to do when life hands you certain obstacles. Now, Lord knows I can't tell you what to do, but I can tell you what I have done growing up with these certain obstacles. But first, let me take a little sip of my sweet tea. Mm. Thinking back to when I was a child, there was one time I was asked to put the groceries away and I accidentally put a whole box of borax into the sugar jar. Now, did we or did we not get very, very ill? But with enough water and enough time and a little bit of whiskey, the whole family was right back on top. And I was about this close to that pretty little thing's eyes and I said, Everett Hornsby is gonna kiss you now. And she closed her eyes and I slapped her in the mouth and I got my six dollars back. Now there was one time when I was a little boy and I had gotten into some mischief. Well, my daddy told me to go on out to the field and pick my own switch. On the edge of the field there was a tree line, see? Now what did I do? Little old Everett Hornsby wandered off to the edge of the woods and he got himself a log about yay big and about yay thick. Turns out daddy still decided to beat me with it, so... Now one time, I found myself on a date with a woman. And we were having a lovely time, and she was a lovely gal. But there was some ragamuffins on the other end of the bar and they were making some crude comments. So I, as a gentleman would, I walked down to the end of the bar and I asked them to please stop. Now, I didn't use words to tell them to stop. I allowed my emotions to be expressed through the end of a beer bottle. Now, those southern gentlemen drink their mint juleps through a straw. Never got a second date, but it felt mighty nice. I remember there was an old rabid bull and out in the field, and it was my job to put him down. So what I did in the face of this horrible obstacle because I pride myself on being one of the few Hornsby pacifists. But on this particular day, I went out into the field and I, I picked a little opium and I just went ahead and I, I packed my jaw with it. You know, just a little poppy or two. It took the edge off when I had to end up taking that tire iron to that poor bull's head. My grandmother tried to attack me with a hatchet once. I said, Grandma, why are you trying to attack me with a hatchet once? And she said, now damned if I knew what the hell a whooping cough was or how I contracted it. But here I am, little Everett Hornsby, whooping and a hollering just coughing up things that are unspeakable on camera. But off camera, approach me sometime. I'll tell you all about them. I ended up developing three or four canker sores on my lower lip. Right down in there. Those would be the death of me. So I thought. Here I am loading up a 12 gauge shotgun, double barrel, both barrels full at capacity, and I have it turned at my bottom jaw. 
it was that time that my grandmother walked in. Everett, what are you doing, boy? She had purple lips because she was drinking wine at the speakeasy. This was in 1984. But I said, now some people would say, Everett Hornsby, how do you have time for sun tanning? And I said, it's not a luxury. It's a way to unwind. I learned that from Edward Bernays. Now he was the father of public relations and a nephew to Sigmund Freud. Sigmund Freud had a very interesting take on women. Well, this has been Everett Hornsby's Intellect and Wisdom Hour, and I hope you learned something. And I hope you enjoyed yourself. I know as for me, right now, reflecting back, I've had a good time. And I think I deserve to finish my sweet tea. Every time. I got this close and said, Edward Hornsby's gonna kiss you now. And she gave a little grin. And I took that as consent. <laughs> Cause at, at the end of the day, there ain't nothing that a sweet tea can't fix or a little sugar from your honey. Just make sure it's sugar and not borax. Mm. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> Everett Hornsby's got the whooping cough. <laughs>